A veterinary specialist is a doctor that has gone through additional training beyond regular veterinary school. So veterinary school is four years and then you can choose to go forward with an internship which is typically one year uh, or you can go on to whatever family care veterinary practice that you're looking at, a general practice. Uh, in my case, I actually went through veterinary school and decided to go into general practice and then after about five years of two different types of practice, decided to go on and specialize. And so in my case, my internship was five years of, of veterinary experience. Um, then beyond internship, you can then choose to either specialize or choose to go into the real world um, of routine practice. But a specialty is basically excluding everything but that one area. So for example, surgery is an easy example where you only do specialized surgeries and that's going to usually be either in small or large animal medicine, so it's divided into small and large. Um, or dermatology tends to be, they'll see both large and small animal. Or ophthalmology where they only do the eyes but they'll do small and large animal as well in most cases. Uh, internal medicine, you really do have to be either selected to be small animal or selected, selecting large animal because they're so different physiologically. So it, under the internal medicine department, <laughs> Uh, within the College of Veterinary Internal Medicine, there's large and small animal divisions. And then within each is cardiology, neurology, internal medicine, and oncology. So we don't get any more specialized than that. There's no like eye, ear, nose, and throat doctor versus a proctologist. That We don't get that specialized. Although there are some people usually at the university level that might really focus in on one disease process. And so those are fewer and far between. So if you come into our facility, we do have representatives of all of the uh, subspecialties of medicine and surgery, et cetera. Um, the only things that we are lacking is dermatology and behavior medicine. Beyond that, we've got somebody from every walk of specialty. So, for example, what an internal medicine specialist does, or an internist, is we deal with all of the internal organs that you can't see from the outside. So, um, liver, kidneys, pancreas, intestines, urinary bladder, gallbladder, lungs, heart, um, blood vessels, and internal medicine is kind of a, a catch-all department as well if a patient is presenting with very unusual symptoms and we're not sure where to even focus. A lot of times the internal medicine group is going to try and focus that search and at least try to identify the organ of origin that's the problem with the pet. So we see probably um, a wider variety of patients with a wider variety of presenting complaints and then we may then refer to another specialty. So we may refer to a surgeon to remove a tumor who then refers to an oncologist to treat any follow-up that's related to that tumor. Uh, so we actually rely on each other as well 